Neon Abyss is a roguelite action platformer slash shooter that plays a little bit like Dead Cells, but mostly focused on guns. Uh, it is available on pretty much every platform. You get it on Switch, you get it on the PS4, you could get it on Steam uh, for $19.99. Uh, I've actually just today, this is a Sunday now that I'm, I'm recording this, I actually uh, played probably a good few hours and Declan, uh, who is not interested in basically anything that I play, uh, not directly, like he won't watch it. Like he doesn't watch me play Satisfactory, but he sat there and he watched me play this. So visually, I can at least say that it is a very entertaining game uh, to watch uh, and also gameplay wise it is stellar it's really really good so I might be a little uh, a keyboard rusty here because I've been playing the past several hours on the controller which plays fine that way um, but first I should make sure to see if this thing works I had a little bit of issue earlier ah, okay cool it does work uh, so this is your tech tree we're gonna get into this well actually I'll go and show you this now uh, you get these little things in the bottom left corner here as you play uh, so yeah you'll find rooms and you'll pick these up or whatever or like you'll beat bosses and you'll get these uh, and then you can turn around and spend, spend them on your tech tree here let me see which one I want to get moldy heart sometimes a heart you'll find any moldy some moldies will not you take the risk now nah, let's see popcorn all your bolts will explode on impact or after they travel a certain distance enjoy the show let's go and get that and I believe free trial, you'll get these items for free in your next run. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Let me see. May the love uh, be with you. Double the amount of hearts recovered. Uh, I'll actually go ahead and hold on to the moose. Actually, you wouldn't wear them if you weren't useful. Uh, an extra jump. You know what? Let's go and do that. All right. So right off the bat, we're going to have a weapon that uh, that shoots exploding rounds, which is funny because I actually had a... Do, 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 do. I actually had a seed that I had set aside that I was going to uh, use for this any for breakfast uh, that gave me that exact same ability. So it actually all works out perfectly. And also good for me too because it gives me something else to play, like a different uh, run instead of replicating that same run that I did on stream. Uh, you have a number of characters here I've only unlocked. Uh, you saw this one in the tech tree, so that was the next one we we're going to unlock there. Uh, I don't know what his, uh, let's see what his, oh, it does show you his stats. Cool. Uh, Matt can roll forward a short distance. Oh my gosh, he has roll. Awesome. Uh, let me see. So uh, the general, uh, in general, General, they are fairly similar just give or take a little bit of starting health or starting with grenades bottom here you can see hearts uh, six hearts one grenade uh, three hearts one key one grenade and then four hearts one key so I actually really like Saya I've gotten used to her uh, to her sword ability she has a melee ability uh, using swords and uh, it allows her to kind of lunge forward so it's actually gi giving me access to certain uh, to certain areas that I wouldn't normally be able to uh, let me see. Lastly, lastly, I believe there's something over here. There's, uh, yeah, you can change the difficulty. We'll leave it on normal. I tried it on hard. It's actually really hard. <laughs> I'll get there, though. I'll get there. No idea what this does, and this is to input your seed. There we go. Whee! Death is the only way out. Dunk. Here we go. Double jump. Oh, beautiful. Okay. Oh, ouch. Okay. We should talk about those things real quick. As soon as I clear things up. Go. Get some of this. Shoot these things. Get something in there. Next, just gonna see her. Um, oh, what was the E? There we go. So this is how. This is her sword ability. Not all the characters have an alternate fire ability like this, by the way. Um, I should get this. Okay. So going back over. Oh, I already got it. Uh, so, <laughs> so right here in the bottom right corner, you can see that there is a red bar that's slowly filling up, filling up. Uh, as I take damage, it's gonna continue to fill up, and then once it gets full, then I'll have access to a secret area where I can make a sacrifice to, uh, to to get an item. You'll see. You'll hopefully you'll be able to see that because that's actually a very cool uh, kind of a bonus function right there. If I had a grenade, I'd blast that right there, but we don't. But we don't. Oh, but I have this. What is this? Plastic gun. Uh, have fun. See, active refresh all item pickups. Let's see what this thing does. Let me see. What? Oh! Oh, that's what it does! That's pretty That's pretty amazing. Okay, so when it says refresh, it just basically just uh, re-rolls that, whatever that is. You know, like, for example, if I, if I right-click right now, it'll probably change that to like some other pickup or something. Um, let's go and do it, actually. Oh, I can't. Do I not have enough? I have enough uh, diamonds. These diamonds are typically you spend, you spend in order to do that. Let's take a look at our... Let's take a look at this here. Replace all items, current room with random pickups. Cost two crystals. I have two crystals. Huh. Alright. <laughs> let's not go this way, actually. Let's go down. Yeah, just... Actually, probably is a good thing to note. I have played so many hours and there's still pickups and items. I have no idea what they do. 
<laughs> I picked them up and I have to read the flavor text. It's just like, what is this thing? Okay, for black rum. When you use a bomb, all your eggs will explode. Oh, I don't know if I want that. <laughs> but we're stuck with it. Let me see. Uh, the more pets you have, the faster you can shoot. See, that's what we don't want. We don't want our eggs to blow up. The eggs will eventually uh, open up. After we clear, I think, so many rooms or get so many kills or something like that. Let's go ahead and actually use this teleport back. Teleport back to here. And let's see on the right. Is there anything special up here? Nope. Okay, cool. We'll go down. Uh, watch out for that. Come on. Oh. This guy. Now, something to note. You can't stand on these guys' heads. If I could, if I could see if I could do it here. Staying like that. And also, that can be done with bosses. Found that out on accident. I was panicked. I was panicking all over the place. Then all of a sudden I do like a hop off of one of them. Maybe it was Bitcoin or something. The bosses all have very uh, uh, tech, techy names. As a matter of fact, I would say uh, our tech industry style references. Uh, I will say though, there are some there are some references in this game that are probably not going to age well. Like you'll come across certain jokes and it's just kind of like cool. And just like just like any game that 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 uh, does a lot of uh, uh, you know vague or like you know more like pop culture references and stuff like that, like. A lot of times those things don't really make any sense, like, you know, two or three, four years down the line. So those kinds of things probably won't age very well. But who cares if you're playing the game right now? Who cares? <laughs> you get the joke now, <laughs> later. <laughs> it's like, wait, what is that supposed to reference? I have no idea. Come on. Let me see. I should uh, pay more mind to the my right-click ability here. I'm just going to use it. Oh, uh, get the gun out. Oh, interesting. I guess I don't know how that works. Hmm, or maybe it doesn't work on uh, those gems. Maybe it only works on coins. See, like in this room, there's, a, there's actually a number of things to pick up. Let me go over here. We'll go and switch, and then we'll and then we'll disappear real quick. Okay, there's an egg. Okay, we're gonna pick up one egg. Just uh, get that other thing open. There. Okay, that's not gonna change. Well, let's go ahead and use this thing anyway. See if this works. Huh? I guess I don't know how to work this thing. <laughs> I have no idea. Huh? All right, well, I'm gonna go down there and get that stuff then. It's strange, I'm using the um, the special ability button, but it doesn't seem to do anything. I wonder if it's a, um, I keep forgetting I had double jump. Let's take a look at it again real quick. That's my grenade. So yeah, this is my left click ability, this is my right click ability, and it says uh, active, replace all items in the room with random pickups. I guess only qualifies certain things. Maybe that's what it is. Well, this is a boss, he drops a lot of stuff, so if it doesn't work on here, then this just broke. <laughs> Just gotta keep a distance here. This weapon is very slow and very boring compared to what I'll end up with by the time I get to the end of this run. Okay. Typically on normal, the bosses are pretty easy. Well, the first few, I should say. <laughs> ah! I didn't say I was gonna ace it. All right, here we go. Lots of items. I picked one up already. It's fine. This right here should change. Oh. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> <laughs> that was not worth the change at all. Oh my god. Oh, that was so, oh god. <laughs> that was a total waste. Let's go back. Let's go back first. Let's go ahead and up here. Let's get this. Uh, this door right here takes crystals, and then it allow you to go in there. You can buy stuff. We're gonna go in there and see if we can buy something uh, to make up for this loss. Oh, here we go. That thing's pretty good. Get rid of that stupid gun. There we go. Oops. Pick it up. Yeah. Yeah. Flying in the current room. I know that works. I had this by just last run actually. There we go. Bunch of bouncy bullets. That's good enough for me. We should go and explore the rest of the level to get more stuff. Uh, you can see on the mini-map. We'll actually see. I don't know if we can pull up the whole thing. Yeah, here we go. Uh, yeah, so there's like a room right here, but this the room could also lead to like another chain of rooms. We only see the next room over. There are certain certain perks you can pick up that will allow you to see the entire map, uh, but you have to explore these things one at a time. So there might be something over there, but it's not really worth our time. <laughs> uh, by the way, I've already beaten the first boss, so you, when you first start, you'll have... Five bosses to beat, which will complete the first chapter, and now we're playing on the second chapter. So certain things that you see in this run may not reflect exactly what you see in your run when you first start out. But there's no, like, spoilers or anything. <laughs> not a whole lot of crazy story or anything like that. You just go in, get the blasting, die, get more stuff. Get all this stuff. This guy, this guy is so annoying. Ugh. There we go. Got him. And then you. 
zombie sister. So let's talk about the eggs. One egg just hatched and I got a zombie sister out of it. A zombie sister will split up every time she gets hit. She has four uh, health and then she'll split up and then she'll do that over and over again until you have a whole bunch of sisters. And then they all die and it's sad. Let's go ahead and get this last thing here. By the way, that yellow means there's something there, but I'm not gonna waste a grenade on it. Just in case you were wondering. <laughs> These guys are a little, a little annoying. Break, they get very quick after the first couple hits. Oh, that was a waste. But you can see how it works with the flying. I usually say that for the bosses. Make the bosses, uh, uh, flying above the bosses really helps. <laughs> Not a whole lot they can do when they can't reach you. Only lasts in the one room though. Okay, there's the boss room right there. Let's go ahead and go up and over. And I believe I have another jump. Gotta keep that in mind. Let's go up to the right. I don't have the uh, things to get in there. Three crystals. No can do. All right. Uh, God, do I want to go into this fight with no crystals at all? Let's do a little bit of exploring first. Before we commit. The more pets you have, the faster you shoot. I have four sisters already. Holy crap. That's, uh, that's a lot of firing power now. Oh, wow. There's so many of them. Am I shooting them? <laughs> I feel like they've taken so much damage. Is that part me? Let me see. I have my gems now. I wonder if I should go fight the boss real quick. Let's do this teleport room. Let's go in here and get this stuff and then we'll go. I have a feeling whatever boss this is is going to get just, just destroyed. Okay. So there is a uh, game over here. Game board. Hmm. Yeah, let's show you that. Let's see. Oh, I have nine. Oh, okay. We got to make basically one shot to make this work. Hold on, let's go over here and check real quick. Oh, it's another weapon. Let's see what this is. Uh, I see sacrifice performance added tracking module. Uh, increase. Oh, that, this thing, uh, it hunts things down. Let's take a look at the all fire again. Uh, let's see, increase rate of fire in the current room, cost two crystals. God, you know what? That's great, but no. Oops, I said no, I said no. There we go, song of joy. The flying is just too important. Uh, all right, cool. Let's go ahead and go back to here. Fighter boss. The soundtrack is pretty good, by the way. You probably already noticed, actually. Kimmy! So let's go ahead and do this, and then... Oh! There we go. And once we get some distance here, she'll get us on the way down, probably, but I think for the most part we should be able to keep, up, keep away from her. Much easier. Much easier. Look at that. See, like I said, just get, just get dunked on. Let me see. Metal of Honor. Uh, increasing movement speed, weapon damage. Yes, right. Usually at the end of the level, they give you something that just straight up contributes to the uh, your overall stats. It's a flat stat increase. More hearts or something. Level three. Okay. I'm going to go for right first. Ah. Okay, hold on. Notice in the bottom left, right corner, I have... Uh, well, first off, that thing that we came in, ah, I just changed to red. Okay, well, it was blue, which is what we wanted, really. Uh, but then when you shoot it, it turns to red. The blue, what's well, up? Well, the blue is not what we wanted. Um, but the, I guess I am shooting them, huh? Or something. I, I swear to saw one of my bullets hit him. Anyways, so the uh, the bar in the bottom right corner is almost fully red. So you're gonna see what this thing does, uh, and then. But if I got the blue one, it would reset this timer, this uh, this uh, progress bar, and I would get access to a different, which you're not going to see in this run, I don't think, uh, a different room than the one that we're about to go see. So there we go, the final sacrifice. You hear a uh, strange sound coming from afar, and then you look over here, and we have a secret room. Sometimes that room is a little off the map, so you have like scroll around to find there's a big arrow that shows you that. Hopefully you don't miss it. So you sacrifice one heart, it's gone. Then we have three different things we could choose from. A weapon, uh, a legendary looking weapon, and then of course a, a bottle, uh, and then whatever this thing is on the left. A drill of some sorts, a drilling warhead, that sounds great. Uh, hiccups, that does not sound great. And a famine. Um, God, you know what? I think just for the sake of uh, the show, we need to try new weapons. Uh, face your fear, increase your rate of fire in the current room. Oh. Hmm. Huh. It just says face your fear. I wonder what happens when you use it on an enemy. Does it spawn something? I don't know. Let's find out. Oh, nice. It is uh, heat seeking. That's superb. <laughs> That's fantastic. I am down with that. Let's go ahead and switch. It'll be easier to get around some of these things. Uh, so there is a couple things out there. Let me see if I can get a grenade right in there. Let's see everybody here, maybe. Uh, yeah, nice. 
Then we can spend one of our keys here. An egg, and what is this? Smithing hammer. Uh, upgrade your weapon, increase your weapon damage. Just straight up weapon damage increase like that. By the way, the uh, the coins stay there forever, so you can actually leave the room and come back and get them. So don't don't fret if they start. Whoa, 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 whoa! You won't see this in the starting area. That's new. Um. Anyways, yeah. So don't fret if you see me leaving something behind. Unless I just like totally forget back. You forget to go back and get it. You want to get in these rooms? It's basically just a straight up reward. Most of the time, they don't have a key in front of them. I'm guessing it's a level, it's a chapter two thing. Little pickaxe, very useful tool. Reveal all nearby hidden rooms. Ooh. Cool. Look at all these sisters. Whoop. Uh, hmm. I only have 16 gold, so that's probably not a good thing. I don't want to go in there and try to spend money. Okay, and then there's a bunch of hearts. That's mostly a dead end room. Now I have to make my way back up to the top. <laughs> mm hmm. Oh, that could be right there. Let's go and get out of here. <laughs> no, I don't feel like spending... I mean, you know, the odds of there being anything in that shop that's going to be 16 and below is going to be nothing more than probably a half a shield, which is, you know... I mean, that's if you have maybe a ton of money or something, but... Nah. Oh. Nice block by the Shuriken. Yeah, this is a pretty okay weapon. The seeking element of it is, is very... Is very good. I just want to, I want to try to get it juiced up a little bit before I uh, decide to commit to it or anything. Like if I see something else, I might switch to it. What was the uh, let's see? Incre gre greatly increase your rate of fire. I wonder if that also extends my magazine side size. These guys disappear and they reappear where you were standing, like that. There we go. We have another chest up here. This one wants blood. We could get to it because we are her. Then we just give a little bit of blood. Come on. Boop. And it pops right open. We get a chest. Or a, uh, thing. Egg. Let me see. I'm half a heart down, but there's plenty of hearts lying around. We can go back and get them if we desperately need some. Uh, secret room has been revealed. Awesome. <laughs> Very handy. Very handy. Usually you have to use a, uh, a grenade for that, actually. Like there was, I believe there was a wall there when we first came in, right? Maybe not. There was a heart up there. I will say though, the soundtrack is really good, but I do feel like uh, if, when, if you if you're repeating the first, especially in the first chapter, when you're first getting the hang of the game and you're repeating it over and over again, it does get a little repetitive because it is the same song playing across the first chapter. I think there's a different song for every every big encounter too. Let me see. There we go. But they do a good job with the dynamic part of it. God of pills. Alright, rate of fire increase. Go! Oh, so it does not extend the magazine. That's a bummer. Yeah, well, the, thank God the uh, the buff that I just gave myself last is the entire encounter. Look at that. Got an alien baby! Here's one of those things I was telling you about. Look at that. And then this is uh, Super Logo. You're at the top of your game. Upgrade your weapon. Increase your... Yep. Uh, when I say one of those things I was talking about, because I've talked about a lot of things so far today, I'm specifically referring to the uh, the thing, the tokens that you spend on your tech tree. So uh, we could go back and take a look and see what's over here, but I think we're probably good. Keep on moving. I don't know how far we're going to get in this episode. Hopefully not too far. I don't know if I have enough hard drive space. <laughs> <laughs> to record this episode. If it stops abruptly, just go by the game, okay? Here we go. Let's go in here and get this up upgrade. Uh, you, you can use keys as bombs when you don't have any. What? <laughs> That's great. Uh, it refers to bombs. It says bombs a lot, which is a little uh, weird because they're grenades. Um, I think a couple times it also refers to it as grenades, but for the most part, we see bombs is what it means. These are grenades. Go. Man, this thing, this thing is, I mean, this thing's still good. Mm. Not ready to trade in just yet, I don't think. A nugget! Uh, every time your pet evolves, you'll drop a key. Ooh, keys. Finally, a run where I get keys. More grenades, more grenades, more grenades. <laughs> Gotta stay out of the way. Those guys drop uh, on attack, I think. Oh, this guy's uh, teleporting. Oh, we got him. Snowboy! Watch out for that thing on the floor. Hmm. Let's see, I can, we can't really throw up, I don't think. We have to... Yeah, we have to, like, jump up and... Oh, wait a minute. Must go up. One of my uh, guys will make an explosion here. But... We're in. Some shields. Some gems. And a key. 
which could later be used as a grenade. <laughs> Let me see if I can... Duh! <laughs> and then here, first we'll clean up. Oh, jeez. This is getting very expensive now. There we go. Hey, got a little of that back. I'm getting out. Let me see if I can... Oh, jeez, God. There's a secret over there. We'll go check that out in a minute. Yeah, right now, at this point, I think the melee is... Uh, I can take a backseat to this. Shots are getting faster. More deadly. It does look like a baby bottle, though. Let's see. Dun, 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 dun. It's in here. Oh my goodness. Okay. This is gonna be tricky. Good first one there. Get them stacked. Nice. Can we get that behind? Aww. My own, my own circling, circling guardian thing got me. Okay, so let's go. Oh my guys are exploding in unison here, but it doesn't help me. Ugh. Okay. Let's get these things open. We might as well open all of them and see what we have. Lots and lots and lots of stuff. Too bad I had that reroll thing here. Okay, we'll stop messing around. Oh, okay. <laughs> so lots of hearts and everything we can come back to if we desperately need some health. This is a great hold me over game for Rogue Legacy now that's been pushed back to August uh, 13th or whatever it is, so. Not totally mad. Not mad at all. Go ahead, Deco. Still got Declan. Still quarantine. Here we go. So let's go ahead and turn this in. Now you'll see. Change the shadow one. We're gonna try to keep that going. Get that thing full. Then I can show you both of those rooms. Yay! I don't think there's a third type of room. I think it's pretty much just those two meters I've seen. I could have totally, totally used this to get around that uh, thing at the beginning. Anyways, uh, so yeah, I just got the grabber. Um, draw your own, uh, comparisons. <laughs> he runs around, he grabs coins for you. Okay, let's see. Go ahead and do this. Speaking of things that won't make sense in like five years. There we go. Oh, yeah, it really does make this easy. I'm not even using the rapid fire thing. Snow brother. All right. Yeah, brother, power diamond, uh, absolute power, upgrade your weapon, increase both your melee and weapon damage. Okay, so I'm just getting strong. And this is how the game lures you in a, into a sense of security. It says, look at all this crazy stuff you could do. Oh, look at you, just so big and strong. And then it just poops on you. Just just, uh, just when you think that you've got everything under control. Uh, let me see, I got three, four, I got four grenades. Mm -hmm, there's a boss over there. And there's also a rival room over here. Let's go and do this one. Nope. Oh, that was an easy, easy, easy miss, too. Damn. Whoa. Yeah, they got... Oh, oh, yeah. He runs around, he drops a back point every once in a while. I forgot about that. Let me see. Uh, so, let's see. Shoots poisons. Uh, I missed it. And this is... Uh, the more bullets you can shoot. The fewer hearts you have, the more bullets you can shoot? Are you kidding me? By the way, her physical appearance has changed too. I don't know if you noticed that. Look at that. Uh, it just got, comes with picking things up. So what was the other thing I just picked up? Let me see. You got you get so many things. Berserker blood to see the furry. Because the few hearts they had, the more bullets to shoot. Okay, we got that part. Um, and then I guess it was this. Okay, that was upgrade thing. Keys is bombs. Bed evolves. Uh, na 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 na. Ah, I don't know. <laughs> oh, increase your weapon damage when you're in the air. Ooh. All right, let's go. By the way, uh, inside of that uh, that panel, actually, right here, this is if you want to try this run yourself, you can just go and plug that in and go for it. So if you like something you see, if you like what you see, you can hop on in. Let's go in here. How much? 137. Let's go. 137. Let me buy something. It's a Mega Buster here. Uh, we'll get this. It's always it's always a weapon, and then uh, like an artifact or something. There's something like one of these uh, things here, uh, and then usually a heart and a shield or something like that. Some combination of those. So let's see. Uh, blue protocol. Let's see, add shields, upgrade your weapon. What? Hold on a second. Let it guide you, add shields, upgrade your weapon. Okay, so the more shields I have then, I'm guessing the more powerful uh, my weapon is. Okay. And this is a weapon that uh, <clears throat> we're not gonna pick it up because... Nah, like I said, for the sake of the video, gosh. Okay, so this one you have to charge it up for a call. Yep, and then it does this. It's pretty awesome. 
I'm gonna miss the other one, but like I said, I'll try to show you guys everything. Here we go to the boss. Hunt, God of Racing. Now, it's random. It's not, there's not no fixed first level, second level boss. Wow, this guy's really mean today. Does this guy have a right click? Oh, dang it. Oh, jeez. Oh, failing, failing. Oh my god! Oh! The disappearing thing got me! Oh, it's fine, it's fine. Wow. What a terrible way to go out. But it's fine because... I don't want to spoil everything for you guys. <laughs> so once we get back, we could spend... Well, I can't really afford to buy anything, so... Uh, 15 for the talent discipline, man. So you can perform some difficult moves. The roll is something that I... The first thing that I noticed when I started playing, I was like, Wow, I really need a roll. Uh, just for like a quick dodge kind of thing. Uh, and yeah, the, the, I didn't realize it was actually only unlockable through a character. And so there's gonna be multiple trees of this. I'm sure that I'll be able to get through all of these things. And that's not probably, that's not the end. If you haven't been hurt at this level, you may find the switch bullet. And yeah, I'm sure there's probably more beyond this that you'll see. Uh, revealing light. There will be obvious hints to the hidden. Uh, oh, oh, oh. oh, on the second level. Oh, okay. So I guess it changes as you go. Yep. So that is that's dang man. I was really hoping we could do the whole thing, but it's fine. Seven seven bosses is uh, it's a good amount of time. Um, but yeah, the, the game is, like, really good, and like I said, it is a really great hold me over until Rogue Legacy. Um, so, yeah, if, you, if this is your kind of game, if you're playing Dead Cells right now, just killing time, or if you played Rogue Legacy back in the day, or any number of games like this, there's lots of roguelite action platformers, tons of them out there, uh, then this game is for you. This game is for you. So, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Mike B. A.K. Phony. You can check this game out, Steam, 1999. And that's it. Have a good rest of your day. I'll see you guys.